Hi Virgo, welcome to your mid-month reading for November. I hope you're all doing really well. Let's take a look at your cards and the messages that Spirit would like to bring through for you. Be sure to check in with your own intuition throughout the reading because this is how Spirit speaks directly to you. You may see a sign, a symbol, an image on one of the cards which really resonates for you. Just take notice of this. There is a message there for you. And I feel this card here is also yours. So let's take a look at your first message. Emotions, number 46. Acknowledge your feelings while being present in this moment. So your emotions are going to be heightened at this time and over the next couple of weeks, Virgo. I feel this is going to bring positive emotions. Whatever happens is going to bring positive emotions for the most part. I'm seeing the sun here. So there's a ray of hope, a ray of sunshine that is going to break through the clouds in terms of your emotional state and the situations around it. Um, now I'm being drawn to the number here, uh, which is uh, six and four is 10, which is one numerologically. So this energy is about new beginnings. And so I do see a new beginning emotionally happening for you. That is happening uh, now for some of you and over the next couple of weeks for others. Um, being present in the moment is also very important. Mindfulness and being present in the moment. What a beautiful energy, harmony and balance, connection in love with another. So this may be romantic love for some, but it doesn't have to be. This could be a friendship or a family member, a more platonic relationship. Um, but there is harmony and love coming into play. The dolphin. Be playful, have fun, find your inner child. Spirit is asking you to do this, to find your inner child. Um, if you have children around you, play with them, get into creativity, imagination, and just have fun. So that's the message there. Beautiful energy. Let's see what Spirit wants to say through this deck of cards. Guidance for Virgo. Guidance for Virgo, please, Spirit. Let's see. This one here, I feel, is your card. Yes, harmony, exactly what I was picking up on. Uh, with this six energy here is about harmony uh, in your life. So if there has been a chaotic relationship or something that hasn't been in balance, know that it is on the way. Harmony is on the way. Joy is on the way. There's also freedom that's going to happen. And we also have love coming into play. Okay, so yes, that's, I feel, uh, confirming what I was was uh, picking up on there. Harmony and balance is going to come into your life. Now, we do have freedom, the freedom cards. So if you are feeling restricted in any kind of way, it's going to be different for everybody, how this plays out, what it means in your life, Virgo. But if you're feeling restricted, like you do not have freedom or you are wanting freedom, it's right here. It's right here in the cards. It's coming soon, coming very soon over the next couple of weeks. This energy will start to show up. Circumstances will change. So you have the freedom that you need or desire and the energy of love. So we have emotions, right? So emotions and love go hand in hand. Um, so there is a love connection here uh, to someone which may be romantic, but like I said, it doesn't have to be, but very much pulling on the heartstrings. This also represents you being in love with your life, your passions, finding out what your gifts are and along the life purpose pathway. So that is also coming into play a beautiful energy of being in universal love vibration. Gorgeous energy, Virgo. Gorgeous energy. All right, let's see here. Okay, so we have why. You might be questioning things quite a bit. Um, brotherhood and also one more card here, flexibility. So why? It's about questioning why things have happened in your life. Why things are the way that they are. Um, asking questions um, quite a lot is coming into play. You may be a student, perhaps that's how that relates to you. It might be something else though, okay? So let's see what it says on this card. 
Now is not the time to question what the universe is offering. Um, that's interesting. Okay, so don't question what comes your way. Okay, um, I'm seeing that it's important not to doubt. And by doing this, by questioning what the universe is offering you, is going to bring in some doubt if you uh, question that. Uh, you don't have to always know the final outcome. Trust the universal process. And don't question what life brings your way. Hold the desired outcome in your mind's eye. Beautiful. Okay. Um, we have uh, the next card here was brotherhood. Okay. So this is companionship, friendship. Um, also siblings may come into play here. The energy circle that you live in is thriving with brothers from a past life. They are keeping you safe. So friends, people in your life from, that you've known spiritually before, they are present in your life or incoming. Brothers are not necessarily of blood and can be of soul. The connection is strong with this person or with these people. It might be a tribe of people, a, a, um, a community of, of people. You are a treasure to your soul family. That's what we're, we're talking about here. It's about soul family. Embrace your brothers every day, your brothers and sisters every day. Yeah, beautiful. And flexibility. Being um, able to be um, flexible and move with the energies around you and the situations and not being rigid. Let's see what it says. Your guides are leading you to a place of mindfulness to become conscious on a cellular level. So mindfulness being in the moment, um, that energy is coming up again and um, higher consciousness as well. So there's that bigger energy of things. It is important to keep an open mind as everyone has something to offer. So be flexible with other people's opinions and ideas. Move forward knowing that things may bend and twist as you journey. This is what makes life fun. And we have that energy of um, fun with the dolphin card. So definitely try and make uh, the circumstances here. See the joy in it. See the fun. See the adventure in the circumstance that you're in. Um, regardless of what it is, there's always something positive that can come out of it. Try and see the fun in it. Try and have fun while you're doing something, even if it is boring or very mundane. All right, so let's see this deck of cards for Virgo. We have Stargate of Lyra, Uncord Relationships, and they're saying one more card here. Let's see what it is. Yes, go with the flow. So this card very much is uh, tying into flexibility. Very important at this time, over the next couple of weeks, go with the flow. Trust and relax. Accept what is happening. Just accept what is happening. Go with the flow. And look at this. We have dolphins in this image as well. So we have dolphins coming up here. Play, have fun. Go with the flow. Yeah, I love it. Okay. Uncord relationships. Let go now. Forgiveness is freedom. Didn't you have freedom here? Yes, you did. Okay, so we have um, these two cards related. So let go of attachments um, and emotional, emotional attachments that no longer serve you. You can uncord, unbind um, this relationship or these feelings. Forgiveness is important and healing and then you'll have the freedom that you seek very powerful and the stargate of lyra expand your um causal chakra okay that's the the chakra that connects to your past and all that is enter the unicorn kingdom mm. so i'm seeing this as um connecting into your past um, expand this energy, go beyond your past circumstances and move forward with positivity here. Expand your energy. And by doing that, new circumstances will come into your life. Yes. Okay, let's see what this card represents here. The next one to 
show up for you Virgo let's see what it reveals all right this one here okay so we have the two of cups the beautiful energy the dolphin energy we have two dolphins and a heart in the middle which is very appropriate for the two of cups a great connection in love in joy in harmony um, this is great news coming your way fabulous news that touches your heart in a positive way an emotional way very positive um, and this news is going to change a lot of things in your life it's going to change everything it's going to change a lot of things uh, your perception is going to be different your attitude is going to be different how you feel about something is going to be different so two of cups a great connection being made fabulous news coming your way the knight of swords okay so the knight of swords is a very determined energy very brave not afraid to move forward into battle into conflict into challenge so you have a powerhouse of an energy here backing you up with the knight of swords if you are feeling like you're wanting to say something you will just go ahead and say it um the caution of this card is to think about what it is you're going to say or what it is you're going to do before you actually do it because this card can be quite hasty and not think things through so that's important to note but very brave energy coming through here the six of pentacles is about give and take it's about the energy of reciprocation so looking at the relationships and what is being reciprocated to you from the energy that you are giving okay um this can mean that there is an offer coming your way, an offer or a gift or something along those lines, which is connected into the material, material things, possessions, gifts, a job and the like. The four of wands, um, you're getting to a, a really fantastic place. It means um, things are quite stable or will be very stable and harmonious over the next couple of weeks. Um, it does represent the home environment, so harmony in the home or um, stability in some way in your life, especially around the home, is coming through as important and what you will receive. We have another four, which is the four of cups. So we have stability emotionally and stability um, with the, the actions that you have taken up to this point have created stability for you. Um, beautiful energy and this also the, the cup coming in here um, out of the blue out of the ether is that offer that gift um, something is being shown to you uh, you're not going to miss this offer or opportunity um, things are going to change because perhaps things have been a little bit tumultuous your emotions have been clouded things haven't been clear um, you're wanting more freedom, you know, whatever this is, you'll know what spirit is saying. Um, that energy is going to come to an end and offer something positive is going to come in and it will emotionally be fantastic for you. So beautiful energy coming up there for you, Virgo. All right. So I hope you've enjoyed the reading. It's been really wonderful to read for you today. Um, if you did like the reading, you can click the like button or subscribe to the channel if you would like to. I really do love and appreciate you all so much for all of your support on my channel. Thank you so much, guys. Stay blessed, Virgo, and I will talk to you again soon. Bye for now.